In this video, I'll be showing you how you can do the Airtel 4G MiFi configuration and setup. All you need to know about the Airtel 4G MiFi, how it looks like, and the steps you can get to buy the Airtel 4G MiFi. Without much further ado, let's get in. So, in case you haven't seen an Airtel MiFi before, this is how it looks like. You can see Airtel 4G Pocket Wi Fi, but it's a MiFi, okay? And it comes in different models and brands. So, you can choose your own model or brand and buy it, okay? And how do you buy it? To buy it, just go to an Airtel office or shop around you and tell them you want to get an Airtel 4G MiFi. And they'll ask you which brand, then choose from the options, then they'll get the SIM card registered and package and give it to you. Then if you get home, remove your MiFi from the package and everything that comes with it. Okay, if you get a new MiFi, it comes in a proper package than this. You can see mine is not a new MiFi, but those packages that I will show you guys seamlessly the process you can take to configure your new MiFi so that at least you guys can understand what I'm trying to teach you about. So you can see here's my MiFi 4G Pocket MiFi or Wi-Fi as you can call it. And you can see it comes with a cord. You can see it right. And also a SIM card that will be registered right and about the a micro SIM card and you can open it it depends so before i start let me show you the periphery of this my fi you can see how it looks here is power button once you just press here and hold it like three seconds it will on and all this light will be on too now if i turn around you will see that here comes with a rope whereby you can hang it on your finger and hold it and here's the charging port you can see it right normal usb charger it's not type c for this very brand here or model you can see it right it's not type c but actually this is not the original charger of this my fi the real charger is missing but i'm just showing you guys example how the whole thing looks understand and this button here is wps button maybe after i will show you guys the function of this button in the my fi okay so this is how it looks now to open it now if you get home and you've unpackaged it open it now in most my files they write the information of the my file at the back of the my file cover or maybe if you remove the battery now if you check at the cover here you can see here msisdn here is actually the number of the sim card that comes with this my file so it is being written here already you can see it right so let me drop this one now if i open the battery or the MiFi, let me open the battery if i open the battery you can see that also right here they also wrote information about the MiFi here you can see the brand is vida the model is vida m a l t e router you can see it right i can see that manufactured by vida technologies limited and also now at this body of the my file they will write the password and the ip address you can see that on this wi-fi key here wi-fi key here this 5021373 is actually the password of the my file that you can use to connect to your phone laptop or to devices and this ssid here is the my file name if you just buy it newly here this wi-fi key is the password and why this Airtel 4G MiFi is the name, okay? So, but you can change them later if you log in into the Amin page or Amin portal, which I will show you. I can see also to log into the Amin portal or page, the default password to use is you can see username and password is admin, both admin. So, I will show you guys if you want to log in into the Amin portal with the IP address. You can see it right. And also, if you go to the SIM slot, you can see it has one SIM slot and one memory card slot. You can see it right. So, and this is SIM. Here's the SIM. So, once you get this MiFi newly, they will get this SIM card registered right and about there. Okay. So, once you get home, just slot your SIM card on the MiFi. You can see the SIM card has been entered or is inside the MiFi right now. And if you've got a memory card, you can also slot your memory card right here. Okay. But it's optional. So now you can see the battery too. Let's see the battery. Here's the MiFi battery. Okay, you can see here the battery is actually 3.7 volt, 3000 mAh, and the battery is light polymer 
and I think it is a bit stronger what it because it is 3000 mAh so it means that it can last maybe at least for some couple of time you can see it right so if you've inserted your SIM card on the MiFi then you can put your battery okay then bring your cover you can see right here is a phone number but in most cases the phone number will be written in the SIM pack where you can get it okay so just cover it If you cover it to on it come here to this power button here and press and hold it like three seconds you can see once this thing turns green means it's on the battery here is three bar charge remaining one bar to full you can see right now it's on okay now if it's on now let's go to my system so that i will show you guys how we can connect to our laptop or our phone and go to the admin page and do some configuration and setup okay so while your Wi-Fi is on, come to your laptop or your phone. But for me, I would advise that you use laptop because laptop will give you a clearer view of the interface so that you do the configuration and setup similarly without stress. So if you come to your laptop, come to these connections here and tap on it. Where my file is on, you see your my file name here that comes with it. But my here is jQuery2. I've changed it because my my file is not a new one. But for you, you see the name, this name here this my file name you can see it right it will appear right here so tap on it and tap on this connect and it will show you this box like this to put your password but for me you can see my i have used before so it is actually connecting automatically but for you you will get this you can see it right so put this password here but for me i have changed my password because it's not a new my file so put this password that says wi-fi key that's the default password if you just bought it newly put it and tap on connect and it will connect to your laptop or to your phone so if it is connected close here and come on your browser and tap on it if you tap and come to your browser come on this search bar here and enter this ip address here so this ip address is what you use to log in into your admin portal if you enter this ip address exactly enter so your my file must be connected to your laptop okay now it will load and bring it to this interface like this so as i said my files come in different brands and models so for your own model that maybe is different from my own model you could get a bit different interface than this understand but you can see follow this my step and do your settings understand but if I tap on anything right here, they will say login. So right now, I will have to log in with my password. So like for instance, if I tap on this balance checker here, they will say login. And the login password is admin and the username is admin all in small letter. So I'll come here and enter admin for the boot. Admin and admin. You can see it there on the MyFi body. You can see it right, admin. That's the default password to log into the admin portal. Admin, admin. So tap on this sign in. So right now I've logged in into the admin portal properly where I can do everything. You can see here on the portal I have home, settings, buy data and data and airtel self-care. And you can see it right now. Right now I'm on the home and on the home if I scroll down you see here's the battery. You will see the battery percentage 80%. Here's the network 4G and here's the network strength. And you can see here is the um, data consumption analysis. I can see here is the number of devices connected just one which is this laptop if i tap here you will see it's just desktop you can see it right it's just one so if i connect it like two devices it will show you two understand so now this is how the interface looks on the admin portal and you can log out if you wish to to log out just come on this log out and tap on it you can see right now i've logged out if I tap on anything again, they will see enter password. So I'll come here again, enter the password again, admin, and username, admin, for the boot. Understand? So admin. So now, once you're in the interface, now let's start configuration. So to check your balance, you can see here on the home here. Now like, for instance, let me see, and to check balances, you can see here, balance checker, tap on it. And you'll see right here, you can check data balance, airtime balance. You can buy airtime and you can also check your mobile phone number understand so to check data balance just tap on this data balance check here 
it will process and you can see right here on option 5 here you can see data balance they will give the code to enter and check balance which is star 323 hash so if you get the code tap and cancel here and then come here on this input usd code here and enter the code here star 323 hash if you enter it you can see a send tap on this send to check your balance it will load just wait for some time okay you can see it right it will come with this pop-up here and you can see option one here data balance come here again and enter one here enter one and tap on this send and you will see here dear customer you will receive an sms with your data balance details shortly so after here you can come on this sms here and tap on it and wait a bit while they send you an sms okay so you can always refresh it go to home and refresh it while they send you an sms they haven't sent yet just with a bit they will send an sms and you see it here with your data balance details okay you can see it just came here 11 18 look at the time here 11 19 so same time so just tap on it i can see dear customer you do not have an active data plan you can see it right so let's go back to home you come out to home and go again to balance checker so that how you can actually check your data balance here and airtime balance same thing here airtime by airtime same thing here and to check your mobile number just come and tap here and it will display right here but they are saying invalid service code maybe it's busy right now but once you tap here your my file phone number will just display here understand so let me cancel it so now next thing now how do you change your wi-fi name and password you can see how do you change you can see for me i've changed my own wi-fi name to g crypto and my own password i've changed them so for you if you got a new wi-fi how do you change your wi-fi name and password so as i said if you use the same model with mine that has this interface to change this you can see here user information just tap on it and it bring this pop-up here or this page here and you can see right here my file login information so you will see that for you your own default wi-fi name will be here so just come here and edit it and come here and type the name that you want also password you can tap here to view it you can see i've changed mine to this so for you just come here and cancel it and change to your own password so after that come here and tap on this save if you tap on save it will process and you'll be disconnected from here because you have changed password and username so after that you will have to log in again to put your new password understand so but for me i won't change it for now so that you can change the wi-fi password and username so to change the admin login detail password you can see as i said if you want to log into the admin portal the password and username is admin and admin so to change the password just come here and change it from admin to your own password and come and tap on this save but you can't change username username remains admin you can only change password for the portal login information okay but for now i won't change anything so let me go back to home i haven't changed anything yet understand go back to home so if i am on home so you can see right here is sms yes where you would tap and see all your sms's here inbox outbox draft and everything you can tap and open your sms also come back to your inbox understand so now back to home again okay now if your own my file has let me see a bit different interface from here and let me see you can't find this user information around here to change your wi-fi username and password so now what you do is that look for settings or device settings and tap on device settings and on device settings scroll down until you see wireless settings but on your own my file you could see wi-fi settings but for me they are showing wireless settings tap on it and right here too you can see here my you can change your wi-fi name and password here's my password here's my wi-fi name you can change them understand so also if you don't want to put security for your my file you can see here security mode you can tap here and select none whereby once your my file is on anybody can connect with that security but it is always good that you put security so that people won't connect and consume your data so if you scroll down again you can see maximum simultaneous client here is the number of people that can connect to your wi-fi you can set to two to three 
but for me i leave it on maximum you can see it right so there are other settings you can do also if you want to see connected devices you can come here and tap on it to see the number of devices that have connected to your MiFi so that you can choose whether or not you want to block them or you want to remove them for me it's just one which is desktop my laptop that is being connected okay and also to check other things you can see here internet connection now tap on here also you can do some settings now here is network mode you can come here and choose your network mode like mine is on 4g 3g 2g and many more so you can choose your own you can choose even on auto so that it will select the network automatically understand but for me i leave it on the highest network mode which is 4g 3g and 2g so that you can always swap between all the network mode understand so that is it and also if you want to see about the device information about the MiFi info here come on this device information and tap on it and all about your MiFi would be written right here device information understand so all this you can find them here so you can also go through all these and check and do the settings here but i think the main ones are the ones i'm showing you right now on what to do the main settings understand so you can change the time or you can also let me say that for instance if you want to reset your my file let me say you've done so much settings and you want to reset it to factory reset you can come on this router management and tap on it and you can see here restore restore factory settings once you tap on it and tap on ok then it will restore every settings to factory setting how it was when you bought it newly understand so that is it also to check or to change the time on the my file you can come on this sms or sorry time settings and tap on it and you can change the date the year the time and everything and come here and tap on this save and the time will be changed so let me go back to home now if i come to home now to buy airtime i've shown you you can also come on this buy airtime and data and tap on it and take it to a different page but for this you must have data on your my file before this page can load so if you don't have data on your my file this page can load but also another way to buy data is come on this balance checker and tap on it and you can see here buy airtime and data if you tap on it also still on different page so you must have data on your my file before you will buy data too understand so you can come here and tap on this airtel self-care if you tap on it it takes you to a different page so for year two you must have data so that this page can load but for me right now i don't have data right now so that i see that all these pages can load you must actually buy data you can go to your op and buy like maybe like one gig first so that you can log in and access your admin page understand so if your interface looks like this it will be easier for you to just navigate through and do settings but if it looks a bit different look for device settings or settings tap on it and you see everything right there on your my file just change the main settings that are required for you to use your my file so guys i think that's all for now about the my file configuration setup so guys if this was impactful make sure you click like share comment and subscribe thanks for watching and bye